Hey guys, just wanted to walk through the latest tune on cruxmusic.net. Uh, nothing too fancy. It's not even two minutes long. Uh, a few people asked me about some details, so I thought I'd go through it with you. Hope you enjoy. Uh, thanks for checking this out, and see you again soon. Started all out with the two drummer sections together, which I thought was uh, quite nifty. So together, the two drum parts that are plugins, of course, sound like this. So when you separate those two, um, it's interesting to listen to them apart. So the first drum piece sounds like this. Pretty straightforward, a nice room sound on that, pretty simple rock beat. So listen to the second part by itself. So again, together they sound like this. So that's the foundation of the tune, what got me started on this thing. So, of course I'm trying to mimic the Band of Gypsies guitar sound. I'll always try, I'll probably never succeed. Doesn't mean I'll stop trying. So it's just basically uh, the same guitar parts duplicated. Um, one with a delay that's in sync with the rest of the song, um, which gives an interesting effect. And the second one is just a double without the delay effect on it to produce sort of a, um, a depth to the, the guitar sound. Of course, it's the Line 6 Helix with uh, custom presets. At this point, it's all custom. I don't use any of the factory stuff. And I thought it was halfway decent, if not a little bit harsh. So um, the guitar part with the delay sounds like this. So the one without the delay alone sounds like this. And together, again, to give it some depth, it sounds like this. So one of the interesting side effects, and I, I'd love to say I did this on purpose, but I didn't, was the trailing effect of the delay off the first guitar track creates a, a pretty interesting um, sound that follows into the organ parts. Show you what I mean here. So I had a lot of fun with the organ parts, again, using some emulated older keyboard sounds. Um, my favorite is the Mellotron. The Mellotron is from the early 60s, and it was basically a keyboard with slotted tape machines for every note that was, you could call, the, the, the birth of the sampler. Essentially, notes sampled onto a tape, and when you push the key, it actuated the tape mechanism, which would play back that sample. And there was, you know, a few different variations on that. A choir, piano, um, flutes, etc. Uh, probably made most famous by the Beatles. Um, especially recognizable on, like, the beginning of uh, Strawberry Fields. So... I'm nowhere near that cool or that good, but I did have a lot of fun with the Mellotron and a couple of the keyboard parts. So the Mellotron piece was incredibly simple, just a few chords to give it some depth that sounds like this by itself. So I added in another rhythm part for the organ and I added a lead part in the organ as well. And together it sounds like this. Hope you 
you guys enjoyed this. Something really quick. Had a lot of fun, a lot of fun doing it. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll be doing more videos soon. Thanks.